At the end of the day, man, you have to be happy uh, who you are. Uh, when the lights go out, the TV goes out, phones, tablets, you name it, when all that gets switched off and you head to your bed and you close your eyes, you answer to that one thing. You know, that one thing, you, you can call it whatever you want to call it, the soul, the inner you, uh, the spirit. That's kind of what makes us feel who we are. So, you know, throughout the waking hours of our life, we please others, we do things to show off or to get energy from the environment. Look at me, I'm so good. Um, you know, but when the lights go out and you close your eyes, you answer to that one thing. And so I think the closer we get to that one thing, that spirit, that soul, that whatever you want to call it, the happier you're going to be. Um, and sometimes to other people around you, even the close ones, it might not necessarily make sense why you're doing what you're doing. Why wouldn't you do something else? Why are you doing that? I think you should do this. He thinks you should do that. She thinks you should do this. Um, it doesn't have to make sense to anybody but you. Um, this is one thing that I've kind of learned as I've kind of grown older. You know, we are essentially these little reflectors. Um, we are reflecting our environment and that light, that image that we kind of project back into the environment is essentially a collection of all of the things that are shining towards us. This is why environments are very important. This is why people in your environment are very important because essentially you're going to become a little snippet of that person, that individual in the grand scheme of things of you. So everyone has a you know, part to play in you. And so you got to pick very, very carefully what you do. Um, when you're a baby, you reflect everything. And as we grow older through our tens, twenties, thirties, forties, you know, that reflection becomes less and less because we're becoming more and more formed individuals. And I guess that light gets less reflected. And when you're 90 years old and getting ready kind of to see out your life, there's no reflection at all. You are basically a, you know, done cooked person. You know, you are finished. Um, so that reflection, you know, even though it's important and it's a sign of youth, vibrance, uh, you have to be very, very careful because um, some of us are you know, finding ourselves in situations where it's not exactly the best for us. And so finding which light to actually reflect, which one that I, you know, allow in is very, very difficult. And what I always say to everyone, man, and the way I think about all this stuff is that at the end of the day, man, when you close your eyes, it has to make sense to you. Um, that feeling, the, that gut feeling, that's who I answer to. So a lot of these decisions that I have in my life, man, I, you know, I say to people all the time, let me sleep on it. Literally what that means, this is how I've interpreted that, you know, saying is let me close my eyes, man, and talk to that soul, that spirit. When people say, let me sleep on it, that's exactly what, what I feel like is happening. They're going to take it back to the chief the soul to the spirit you know sometimes it makes no sense why you feel the way you feel or why you fall in love with the person that you fall in love with um, it's, it's almost got a mind of its own and sometimes there's a conflict between your consciousness you know your your conscious level your brain and the gut feeling and sometimes you get torn in two and for me man I've learned many many times over that the gut feeling is the one to go for it's never gonna steer you into something that's gonna make you unhappy. Even though you might not seem to somebody else as optimal, even though that the majority of people out there will say one thing and you're doing the exact opposite thing. If it makes sense to you, man, you do it. Because guess what, man? When you close those eyes, it's just you and that voice, that soul, that spirit. So you doing what the environment wants you to do is not going to make you happy. So sometimes, especially as we, as you know, in our teenage years, especially picking a career and studying and, you know, becoming adults, young adults, all that stuff. A lot of the time, man, we are doing what other people want us to do. I did what my parents said for me to do. I didn't go into nursing because I thought it would be the greatest thing in the world. 
It was a recommendation from my parents and eventually I kind of found my way in there. And then when I got into the nursing gig, first year in, my boss says, you need to go back to uni and specialize. So I did that. So this is kind of how like it's a slippery slope from one person to another person to another person. All of a sudden you're like 50, 60, 70 years old. Uh, eventually I feel like you're gonna have to dig your claws in and stop that slide. And you're gonna have to ask, what do I want from this shit? Because <laughs> when I close my eyes, none of these people are there. It's just that one voice, that one soul, that spirit. This is what I feel like, you know, uh, a lot of this stuff doesn't make sense to a lot of you and it shouldn't. It freaking should not. And your shit shouldn't make sense to me either. This is what makes you, you and me, me. Um, I think we need to have that courage to go with that decision, to go with that idea, that feeling. Because ultimately, man, like happiness is there. Close your damn eyes. It's not in the shit that you buy. It's on the car you drive, the phone you have, the house, all that stuff. It's not there, man. It's, you close your eyes and you work that shit out. That's where, the, that's where you're going to find it, man. You're not going to find it through your senses, through hearing, taste, touch, all that stuff. You're going to find it. Close your damn eyes. Close them. And this is where I feel like meditation fits in nicely. You know, they've got a fancy word for it called meditation. It's just freaking alone time, man. It's alone time for you to talk to that to not talk, to listen to your gut, to the God, whatever you want to call it, man. I'm down with it. It's some alone time, man. This is why, some of you guys don't understand this, but this is why I like damn silence when I'm training, man. I don't want to, like, I don't even want anybody near me, man. I don't want music. Why do I need to hear Tupac tell me something, or Snoop Dogg, or some dance song, just bang, 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 just smash him in the head. 24-7 is joining the crew that everyone else smashes Ivan in the head. Now it's a beat. Straight into the skull. So the only time I have for a long time is when I close my eyes and go to sleep. And that thing lasts five, 10 minutes before I get knocked out anyway. I want you to not sleep, close your eyes and see what's up. See what that voice tells you. You know, a long time is powerful, man. This is when you get to know yourself. And people are all about, you know, oh, you know, listen to a book. Every time you walk, listen to a book. Every time you drive, listen to a book. Listen to a song. Listen to a rapper. This rapper. Oh, that's hot. That's this is hot. Everyone's hot. What about you? Listen to yourself, man. How about that? How about you leave yourself with your own thoughts? Do you want to subscribe? Subscribe to that guy. You listen to you. Your thoughts. Subscribe the shit out of that guy. Top of the list. That's who you should listen to. Not me or any other influencer or any other damn book in any of that shit. You shouldn't listen to this shit. Of course, I'm not asking you to listen to yourself 24 seven and go and freaking somewhere in, 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 in Mount Everest and just camp out there for the rest of your life, the rest of your existence, you just listen to your voice. What I'm saying is it is important. And in, in this day and age with all this shit around us, man, like none of us have a have any alone time, man. How the hell do you know what you are? I feel like we should have alone time every day because the evolution of ourself, of our existence is continuously evolving, right? It's evolution. Ivan 10 years ago is a different Ivan right now. It's a different guy, man. I might look the damn same because my face hasn't freaking aged and you guys reckon I'm 20, but I'm damn 33 years old. I'm 13 years on from that 20 year old Ivan. Things have changed. My body has changed. Now I've got damn gray hairs on the side of my head. 20 year old man didn't have that. So if I've got a gray hair, that means my soul, my being, my needs have, have completely changed. Not maybe completely all of them, but some things have definitely changed. I need some alone time to listen to that shit, man. I need an update to the system. What the hell are we doing, man? What is the latest thing you need for happiness to occur? When is the last time you were left the hell alone without any stimulation? You're just sitting there in your room. I think previous generations had that by default because they didn't have TVs and laptops and tablets and phones and all this shit. I find myself consciously think to myself, holy shit, man, every time I go to the toilet, I've got a phone, I'm listening to something. Every single waking moment I am listening to something, I'm thinking about something that somebody else is triggering me. 
I want to listen to myself for a bit, man. I want to listen to myself for a little bit. And in a way, these videos that I'm making is this. This is why this has been going on for such a long time for me, because through this damn journal, I am just doing it talking. You can have the same conversations without you recording it and sending it out to 10, 20,000 people. This is what I'm doing with this. I'm letting you guys into my psyche, but this is my alone time. There's no one around me right now. It's me in my garage. I'm looking at those sexy ass plates spread all around the place in that bar, and I feel like I want to do another set. So that's the only thing around me. Alone time. I, I have a feeling when you have anxiety, when people have panic attacks, and believe me, I've seen many of those over the last 13 years of my nursing career. It's my 13th year this year. Panic, anxiety. You know, like they, they don't teach this shit at school. They don't teach this shit at school, man. No, no doc or, 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 or whoever you speak to, any professional is gonna tell you this. I have a feeling that anxiety is just a revolt. It's the citizens of your soul torching the damn houses, the huts, torching the damn village because we're not happy with the damn government around here, man. I'm not happy with the shit that's going on here. I'm gonna set this damn alight. Where the hell are the royals? I'm gonna, I'm gonna guillotine each of their skulls. I ain't happy. This is what anxiety is in my eyes. This is not a professional Ivan talking to you. This is just me thinking about this for the last 13 years of my career, seeing all these people come in and freaking out. Are they really doing things in their life which their soul wants? Or are they just catering to the people around and to the forces around and pulling strings on them? Are you doing shit that you want to do? I don't give a shit how much they pay you for that particular thing that you're interested in. What, what other people think about it. This is you, man. You're gonna be lying in that basket by your ass self, okay? The shit isn't made for two, it's made for you. So these people that are stringing the hell, telling you what's up, are they gonna be laying in that casket with you? They're not. So how about you take care of yourself? As, as sobering the hell this is, man, I've got many loved ones in my life. I care for a lot of people in my life. But at the end of the day, man, you are alone. You are alone. You're gonna go to the earth alone. So until you fix yourself, you're not gonna be good to anyone else. This is ground zero stuff. Close your eyes. Have some alone time. Listen to that God, to that gut, to that spirit, to that soul. Listen to it. The answers are within. They're not on some Wikipedia page. They're not on any channel in the billions of channels on this damn platform and more platforms. You're not gonna find it anywhere else. Close your damn eyes and listen.